In the 21st century, life in Britain has been transformed by technology. And the generation gap has never been greater. Has a reliance on technology... Hello! ..stripped young people of vital practical skills? And has the older generation been cushioned from the harsh reality and insecurity of today? I want to know which generation will survive the best when they're stripped to the conveniences of modern life. A Maroonie 16 ordinary people on a remote cluster of islands in the Pacific. On one, a young group aged between 18 and 30. It's happening! <laughs> And on a nearby island, a group of much older castaways. It's lethal, guys. They'll be left alone for five weeks with just the clothes on their back and a few basic tools. Get it, you gotta get it. <laughs> Medic! <laughs> what am I doing here? Pushed to the limits of human endurance as hurricane season rages around them. Don't dig it like a piggy shit. Will the older generation's experience <laughs> give them a better chance of survival? Oh, or will the energy of youth <laughs> trump the wisdom of age? You don't do anything you <laughs> yourself! You talk <laughs> bollocks. You're a proper tosser. Oh, I'm just so embarrassing. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God! Mother Nature kicking our ass, boy. We're not standing here another 24 hours. <laughs> Requesting an exit from the island on mass. Oh, God, see, man, this is bloody torture, this one. Six days ago, I dropped two groups on neighbouring islands. Oh, oh this is... my God. On the larger island, 18-year-old Freddie led the young castaways to safety. You are my hero, Freddie. Yeah. You're going to become a real man. <laughs> An advanced party of the older group left their island on the hunt for better resources <coughs> and discovered their young neighbours. So the people... Oh, my God! The older castaways decided to relocate to the larger island en masse. Let's go. Tide is rising really fast. But 66-year-old Frank nearly didn't make it. Oh, my God. Frank! Frank! Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God! I'm coming off the island. I'm not doing this. I am off. Oh, my God. What? Oh, you <gasps> what is this? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that? You can't even see them. Are you joking? I couldn't even see them, especially when you got your glasses on. Come on, Kate's got to get involved. A week in, and the young group have fire, drinking water and shelter, but they've barely eaten. I'm starving, absolutely starving. But this does need to be done, so if we crack on with this, then I'm going to go out, maybe do a bit of fishing or something. The group's youngest member, Freddie, has spent the morning making a sign for their camp. I'm trying not to waste my energy, I'm trying to put it towards good use. You know, in like quite a lot of houses, the date was built. So we thought we'd do like that, but we'd put um, the age range, so we'd go from 18 to 32. Oh, this is really like a massive workout for the arms, this. I live on a farm in Scotland with my parents. I've always had trouble working for Dad on the farm. He's a perfectionist, which is a good, it's a good, really good trait to have. Maybe I can push myself to the extreme, you know, and succeed in physical challenges and stuff like that. Because, you know, in order to gain respect from people, you do have to prove your worth. <laughs> hey, guys. I think there's a big rainstorm coming. Oh, shut up. Oh, yeah. If you look over there, it's really dark. In tropical storm season, the weather can change from scorching sunshine to torrential rain in the blink of an eye. Bastard. Another biblical piss on. Having spent their first night on the larger island, the older group are on the move. All right, be careful, it's going to be slippery as shit. I hate my life! Following Frank's threats to leave, his fellow islanders are hoping they can persuade him to stay by finding a decent place to make camp. There's no coconuts on these. This ain't inhabitable. You can't live here. We'd have to go and find another route round. 
So, Jagger, if we find fuck all... It's my fault. Having crossed from the neighbouring island, the group have trekked around the coast, past the young islanders' camp, and are now approaching one of the beaches to the north. I'm coming. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck it, hell. Palm trees, massive beach. Palm trees, palm trees, palm trees. Oh, wow, this is where I want it. Yeah. There you go. Happy day. <laughs> what we come for, eh, mate? Yeah, fucking spot on, there. This is what we come for. This is more like a beach. This is going to raise a lot of spirits on a nice day. I think everybody's going to be happy looking at this, aren't they? In every day, I've had highs and lows. And when there's a lows, you start thinking, what the hell am I doing here? What am I doing this for? And then something happens, and like today, you know, it's coming around here, and wow, this is phenomenal, this exploration that we're doing. Wow, I'm loving this. This is what it's all about. This looks like this could be potential home. Banks recharge these batteries. I think he's staying. That is gorgeous. That's better than John Miller Lee's bitter, and that's gorgeous. Ugh. Rain, rain, go away, come back, another fucking day. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It's like 10 inches of rain in, like, 30-minute bursts. In the young camp, all attempts to hunt have been thwarted by weather. When it's like this, I'm just completely paralysed. I can't move. You can't do anything. Oh, I want some food. We haven't eaten a single thing yesterday, not even a coconut. So we're all really, really, really tired and weak. Not only have they failed to find any food nearby, but having built their camp in a gully, the rain has turned it into a quagmire. Pissed off. Can't keep the fire going, it's all wet. It's just so shit. Feeling like a bunch of idiots for staying here for so long. Camped right on a swamp. I swear when we first got here it looked nice, but now it's just full of bugs and mud and it's disgusting. And we're going to make our lives so much better by moving somewhere else. I just well, think I'm staying good. here as long as we are, we're prolonging the inevitable. What, what do you feel about doing? We should join up with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah I want a mum. Yeah. And uh, anyone who don't want us in there, fuck it. Knowing that the older islanders have headed north to find a suitable campsite, the group are debating whether or not to join them. If we do it and it doesn't work, we can split again. Yeah. Yeah. Not set in stone. I agree, it could be miserable and it could go tits up, but we can deal with it. We could be there with all our kit by two o'clock. Yeah. It takes us about two, three hours to make a big shelter somewhere, and we've got shelter for the night. Are we happy with the decision 18.30? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey! Back an overnight bag, because you're going to go and stay at Nanny's. Oh, I'm excited now. I feel like I'm going on a new adventure. OK, we're going to start moving. When you're living in the wilderness, it's crucial to have a place you can call home. Seeking security with the older islanders is understandable. Wait, 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 wait. These fucking vines, man. But in reality, merging two already established groups is rarely straightforward. How about that, then? Happy with their new location, 66-year-old Frank has decided to stay and has taken charge of the older group's shelter build. Girls, yeah. what do you reckon of my erection? Your I've always, erection? I've always loved your erection. I think your erection can get bigger than that, Frank. <laughs> I think it will well, not nowadays. If you're going to erect something, erect it bigger. Oh, this is tiring. I thought I saw smoke. Where are they? They're 100% in that tree line over there. After an hour's walk, the young islanders have caught sight of the older group's camp. Hello! Should we just go on in? Jagger! Yeah. Is that them? Fuck's sake. Hey, guys. Well, hello! Found ya! Welcome to Paradise! Oh, wow. What a great little hut. Ah. Oh, careful, babe. OK. Yes. What's oh, happening? Hi. You all right? Not bad, yeah? We're going to come and join you, we reckon. Right, OK. Yes. The young group turning up unannounced hasn't gone down well. 
that well, mate. No one's had a chat about it whatsoever. It's the first I've heard about it. How many machetes have you got? Two. But, and how much water? You've got a jerry can, I think. Have you got a jerry can full of water? It's a bit. The basic, obvious common sense thing is, you know, if you're going to leave home, make sure you've got somewhere to go before you do. They, they thought. They decided to come and stay with us. A bit of a problem, so we're going to help them out. With the prospect of a wet and miserable night ahead, the older group reluctantly agree to help the young islanders build a temporary shelter. They're going to build a structure just behind us. Oh, OK. But we're all going to have to chip in because it's so late in the day. Good. Yeah? Yeah. Plan, plan, mate. Let's do it. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Can the young one come down here, please, and give us a lift for this timber? It's too thick for a pensioner. What was all the shouting about? And that's for a lift and nobody moves the what fucking ass. Heard you? Didn't hear you. That was a bit much, wasn't it? I'm not enjoying this at all. I'm almost scared. I'm in half oh, mind to go back to our old camp and go and sleep there. Right now, these two groups may be side by side physically, but in terms of having the necessary cohesion to tackle this environment, wow, they're miles apart. I'm tired, and it's raining again. After two hours' graft, the young group's temporary shelter is finished. I love our new home. <laughs> oh, bless you. I'm just so lethargic. I can't even. I'm just dying. But with darkness fast approaching, they don't have enough firewood to keep them going overnight. Freezing cold. I prefer we have wheels sitting. If we don't fucking huddle together, I'll make a fire today. Someone might have to go and get the dry wood. There you go. Cheers, mate. Right. Cameraman Phil takes pity on his new neighbours. Phil? Are you putting wood in the tent? I'm putting some. That's not on. That's not on. Oh, you can get I'm the sharp, fucking old. Frank. They're strong young men sat there with their fingers up their ass. You're an old man. I'm an old man. That's wood we're getting is for us, not for them. Have a day off. You can fuck off. Frank, I mean kind. Oh, I'm not being kind, I'm looking after me. I'm not I'm looking after our team. I don't know why you're telling us to fuck off and about we're lazy. You've given us three bits of wood. I have not seen you once chopping wood. How many hours have you seen me chop wood? You don't do anything your fucking self. You talk fucking bollocks, tosser. You're absolutely right. Yeah, I know. You're absolutely right. Having turned up unannounced to the older group's camp, the young islanders slept in a separate shelter a few metres away. Frank scared me, telling everyone to fuck off. That was crazy. Like Big Bad Ben sorted it out, didn't he? Yeah. Thank God we've got Ben here, who can shout louder than most people. <laughs> <laughs> the new neighbours are still reeling from 66-year-old Frank's angry outburst over firewood. Be nice if you like apologise and like, but I don't think you will. <laughs> Obviously, tempers get flared every now and again, but I think we've all come round to the idea if we can say what we want, and then ten minutes later we're all right. Yeah. You know but I mean? we've kind of now sussed out yeah. what Each other. what we're we all about. Do, yeah. They don't know us. Yeah. yeah. Something I didn't realise is that people find me intimidating, because I, I don't consider myself to be intimidating, and uh, so. That's something I'm going to have to address because I don't want to frighten anybody. I think you need to go over there and just say, I blew up, sorry. Yeah, about feeling lazy, but you're not. Right. Good morning, team. I'd Good like morning. to apologise for my outburst. It wasn't intended to anybody individually or, or the group. We did yeah. an arsehole with Frank. Uh, uh, We'd be more than happy with our own. OK, well, and, uh, that's me saying sorry. I'm sorry. No problem. So, 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 Thank you so, 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 apology. End of story. Thank you. 
told you you would apologise. Baldy, 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 peeps. Morning. Morning. In an attempt to make the best of a difficult situation, the older islanders decide to take charge. First of all, I think we need to look after the welfare of the camp because that's a big task and it's a very important task. I'd like to propose Jane, because she's a very strong person and she will set the mould. You happy with that, Jane? Yeah. Everyone happy with Jane no, kicking our asses? I'm in a bad mood. I'm in a very, very bad mood. Well, there you go. You know the standards are going to be high, aren't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, Jay, you're on it today, kick it off. Yeah, people need to all pull together. I feel like I'm at fucking school. With neither group having eaten a proper meal since they arrived, hunting is now becoming an urgent priority. All right, so Frank, concentrate on catching food. I need an assistant, maybe two assistants. Kags are what? Or somebody who's less able. Or Kags. less skills. I'm not less abled, well, FYI. Well, it, it's someone who job. you can boss about. Yeah, I know. That's what he means. That's definitely not happening. I'll go fishing then. No more. Job yeah, done. Let's go. What do you mean, less abled? Well, can you use a machete? Yeah, I can. OK, great. Well, that, not less abled, less skilled. If I've choice of word, it's probably not right. Yeah, that was a bit patronising, to be fair. Not going to lie, I'm fuming, absolutely fuming at Frank. We sat there in a group. He says, oh, I need an assistant, someone less skilled, less abled, cags. Being serious, I just think. Do, you, do you people really think that of me? The age range on the island really is huge. You know, you've got 40 years between the youngest and the oldest castaways. There is strength in numbers, but only if these two groups swallow their pride and work together as one. Right, Fred. Let's got to sharpen yeah. you up. Yep. Just so you know, Frank, I'm not very quick at chopping things, but well, I will you'll, do you'll that learn. I'm going to make it so you can work harder now with a sharper knife. <laughs> yeah. With Kagi turning down the role of apprentice, Frank has recruited the group's youngest member, Freddy. Cross on Fred, that's the attitude to take. That's the attitude we need. My best qualities, I'd say, are my ability to train others and enthuse others to get involved. It's looking good, that. Make it a little bit more. Like the other end. My worst qualities are probably my impatience with people who just don't perform and to deal with idiots who don't do that. And when they let you down, that really winds me up. I'll lead by example. Are we off? Yes. Keep strong, young warrior. Yeah. With food a priority, Frank's taking Freddy on his first hunting trip, along with Dr Emma. It's been really sweet, trying to like, teach me how to do it and stuff. Kind of like, yeah, more like a fatherly figure. <laughs> Come here! Everybody, crack on. Retired police officer Jane has spent the morning supervising chores around camp. The place was a shit all this morning. Look at it now. Massive difference. Let's make it a nicer place to live. All right. Please go and get some water. I will do. You and you, shift your asses now. This is the way I do things at home. You lead by example, right? Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. Ah. I get the impression sometimes that people think that we're not pulling our weight. I hope people don't think that, but I really do. Kagi and Jordan have been put on firewood for the day. I just want to get these clothes off. Just getting really hot and really sweaty at them. Maybe we can go for a swim. You want to this fire shit? I do not want to make an enemy out of Jane. Sweltering in the tropical heat, the girls decide to take a break. Judge! <laughs> We're carrying people here. It you know. isn't going to get We are carrying done. people here. But it hasn't gone unnoticed. Once that camp's done, then they can go and I do know. what they want. But we need to get this camp sorted, mm. get food. I know. Sorry to spoil a little swim classes and all that. Like, do you know what I mean? But we're trying we to get some work done. In case it upsets you. In case right. you want to get in a mood again. Yeah, yeah. Trying to get shit done today. It takes just a bit of hard work, man. 
right? You've just but... been in a shit mood all day and it's dampening other people's mood. Dickhead. People think I'm this girly girl. But... Although, probably don't look like I can do things I can. I tiled my kitchen. I actually laid a carpet. I bet people will be thinking she won't ask. But that's why I'm here, to prove you wrong. Jane, she's just been a bitch. What? Absolute bitch. Yeah, yeah we just got told off that we're children. Yeah, we just, what pisses me off, if that was, say, Jackie or Karen, nothing would be said. But because we're two young girls... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I won't tolerate lazy people. And if I've upset two little young girls, tell you what, I can live with that, right? I can live with that. Late afternoon. You're rough, isn't it? So far, all the hunting parties have drawn a blank. Shit everywhere around here. You can't get out deep enough. Yeah, there's nothing here. I've made sure that the island's got enough water, uh, indigenous animals and vegetation on it to keep them alive throughout. But only if they've got the ingenuity to find it, catch it and kill it. Ready, sit down now. Having had a fruitless search so far, Frank's determined to keep his apprentice Freddy focused. In life, it's always the same people who stand in the dog shit. It's always them that fall over. It's always them that crash the car. It's always them that skins on a Friday night going out with the mates. It's always the same bloody people. But also in life, it's always the same people that do things, right? The reason I'm telling you that, somebody who's actually got a work ethic, not, oh, I'm feeling sick today, I've got, oh, oh can't go in today because bloody dogs bloody died and all that crap. So somebody's responsive to training. That's what you're looking for, somebody that you can train them your way. Right, Fred? Good on. job for you. What? You can carry the twine. <laughs> and you should have offered, Fred. Oh. Yeah, Frank gets on my nerves slightly. He likes bossing you around a bit, doesn't he? He really likes bossing you about. Maybe you can just, like, switch the balance slightly. Yeah, definitely. I'll tell him what to do. Fred, come here. OK. To the woods! Oh, hello. After an exhausting day, the rest of the islanders have returned to camp. I'm fucked. Oh, boys. No fish on tonight, supper. Right, I've got to lay down. <sighs> oh, guys. I can't go on like this. I need food and I need it tonight. My legs just feel like lead weights. The group's last hopes of a meal are resting on Frank's hunting party. Oh, snake, 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 snake. It's, it's alive, it's alive. I think it's just coiled up, ready to kind of pounce because it's seen it's coming. Can they pounce backwards? Yes. Get the bigger stick. Do you want me to be the bait? You be the bait. That's it. It's watching you now. This boa constrictor could provide the group with valuable calories. They're quite scary snakes. But they need to approach with extreme caution. Got it! Machete it. Chop it off its fucking head. Doesn't matter where you chop it, chop it quick. I've got it tight, though. If you see it, it's open. With Frank pinning the snake, his apprentice, Freddy, will have to make the kill. Oh, my God. I'm scared of being bitten. Just chop its head. Clean chop, clean chop. If I can't get to it, it's in the way. Yeah. I'm going to... OK, get its tail and put it. Yeah. That's it. Well, go. Oh, yeah. Yeah! 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 Woo! 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 Well done, <laughs> <laughs> That's food for tonight. I've never killed a snake before. Pretty awesome. Bit scary. <laughs> his kind of head was up and his claws are open trying to bite me. Anyway, we have to get a move on now so we get back and we can kick it. Well done, Fred. Fred is snake killer. Yeah. yeah. Who's the daddy? <laughs> Freddy's the daddy! Fred. Juicy snake. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Well done, Freddy. 
Freddy's success will provide the camp with their first taste of meat since they've been here. <laughs> dinner tonight! Yay! Yay! My dinnerware. Lovely, isn't it? I'm really cheap, sophisticated. Darling. Yeah. I'm going for the slutty look. Do you think it's too much? The question is, who would you want to pull? It's difficult. It's Maybe Frank. Ooh. <sighs> Hello, mate. Hi. The older islanders invite the young group into their shelter so they can eat their first shared meal together. Thank you, guys. You cook much at all? Yeah, I do got a few signature dishes. Oh, like oh, what? Oh. Mostly, but I can't do anything else apart from them. Freddie's really coming out of shell. Massively. Gone in the adult oh, pen. Like, yeah. They, they, they absolutely pen. adore him in yeah. there. Oh, I'm having a feast. Oh, my God, I'm having a feast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> quite nice to try snakes. I've never tried it before. It was like a little streak of chewy bacon on the side of the bone. <laughs> First bit of meat I've eaten in two years, and it's a snake. How do you feel about it? To be with you, I just want as many calories inside me as possible. <laughs> today has been absolutely awesome. It's, I think today's been my favourite day, actually, so far. And I killed a bloody snake, yeah. I've never, ever killed a snake in my life. And um, I'm not proud of it. Obviously, it's taking a life, however. It's quite nice to feed camp for once and provide something. And oh my god, I'm having a feast tonight. Freddie, good job. Have you got a girlfriend? No, not at the moment. So I've got a very nice daughter. She's very like oh, me. Oh, you are a wanted man, Fred. Mate, I'm single. JT is on the hunt. JT's on the prowl. <laughs> Freddie, you better be careful, mate. Oh, he's white down. Yellow. He's white yellow. Yellow. Romance. <laughs> Where did Freddie sleep last night? Oh, next to me. Oh, OK. Yeah, we spooned. Young Freddie and I. I feel like a good old nosh on my husband's knob. <gasps> oh! You're so rude. I know. After their first taste of meat, the group have woken up with a spring in their step. You look like a Cinderella on the floor. <laughs> just dry and just spread in some sand. Okay, so what you present here, look. Oh my god! It's amazing what you find on the beach. Oh, I don't know where that's been. Get it away from me. It's a bit lightweight for a proper dildo. I take Doc Emma's word on it. Look at these no. boards. The boards of 2006. Oh no, I'm not happy. You want a body that everybody wants? <laughs> Join our boot camp this summer. Who do you think is fittest, Fred? Um, probably John. The older girls probably are a bit older than me. Yeah, really? Girls don't really tend to go for younger guys, do they, generally? So. Oh, come on, Fred. Crack on, son. Freddy. What can I say about Freddy? The kid needs to grow up. Nowhere near a man. The kid's never been to Nando's. Who's never been to Nando's? So poor old Freddie, Frank's taken him under his wing and said he's, he's apprentice, which is all right if you want to be a little bitch. Freddie! I've got a job for you. Ah, the smoke's getting in my eyes. So your job today is to do nothing else but water. <sighs> With the group's boiled water supplies running low, Frank puts a reluctant Freddy in charge of purifying more. All the wood's so damp, so it's like a massive hassle getting, his, getting it going. Go on, Fred, let's get his ass into gear. That's so annoying. That's really pissed me off. Wafting the fires all day long. Honestly, it's so, so boring. People don't really appreciate it, and they don't know the hours of blowing which have gone into the fire. The whole notion of being marooned on a desert island and, you know, getting back to nature uh, is, in principle, a romantic one, but the reality is very different. Jobs like purifying water, keeping the fire alight, might be mundane, but they're vital for survival. <laughs> Happy hunting. With 16 hungry mouths to feed, Freddy's snake didn't go far. See you later, yeah? And the group are desperate to find anything edible. What on earth? They are the grossest things. Dead limp willies. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need some limpets, girls. 
Awesome. We're going to yeah. go out actually and get some more. Oh, fantastic. How's it going, Freddy? I'm trying to get his fire stoked up so it starts boiling the water. They like died on me again. Just about got it going. I think it's a bit, it'll be all right. I might risk getting come with you guys and just do some foraging. Yeah? And I want to be my own man. Come here, chicken. <laughs> my chicken? <laughs> my, my son. My chicken. <laughs> We're going to go and collect some limpets, which hopefully will be a nice, like, one-to-one -one little mission with JT. Yeah, I should have bought, like, extra small pants because these bad boys, they were tight when I got here. And now, like, my bum and my fanny are just coming out. <laughs> You're only flashing everyone in the Literally. My mini, as Kagi would say. <laughs> I love that phrase. My mini. Oh, I can see a fish. Come on, don't be shy. Late afternoon. How many limpids? Twelve. Disappointing. Despite a concerted effort from all of the islanders. Yeah, quick, come here, bruv. Well, there's big ones. Oh, you bastard! I had ya! They have little to show for the day. Defeated. Nada, nothing. Oh, I'm so hungry. Dinner is a handful of limpets. Washed down with the water Freddy was supposed to boil. Ugh, smell of it just get. <laughs> Would that be okay, or do you reckon it's poisonous? I think it's probably poisonous. You're going to die. Ugh. Oh, that tastes like ass. Good night, everyone. Good night. As the group bed down after their meagre meal, Loving you. all they have for comfort is each other. Are you snuggle partners tonight? Is that Freddy? Mm hmm Yeah, we're always snuggle partners, actually. Freddy, you can see a little rise down below. Oh, my God, yeah? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now. At least someone's got a semi. I ain't had a semi in weeks. <laughs> Girls, you're losing your touch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shitty knickers. Sorry, guys. Absolutely disgusting, like water. It's <laughs> <laughs> going to blue, I think. Shit. Absolutely hideous. <laughs> the following morning, it soon becomes apparent that Freddy isn't the only islander to have an upset stomach. Who's got the shit? I'm on my four, my four spout of some serious diarrhoea. Last night, I had a massive accident. Really, really bad diarrhoea. I know it's disgusting, but um, it's, just, it's just not nice. Um, I think it must be the water. Maybe we didn't boil it properly, which is awkward, because I was actually in charge of the water last night. It's just, um, just a depressing thought, really. I just feel really, really, really guilty. Oh, God. I know. I just, uh... You're suffering. I, I, can, I know you are, Fred. Especially last night was a massive shot with kind of diarrhea and all that. It's just embarrassing. I wanted to like shut myself. It was just, I was like crying. It was just horrible. I've kept my dignity up until now. I just can't deal with it. <laughs> Everyone's zapped, aren't they? Mm. Oh, I can't even get up. With the group on their knees, Frank places the blame firmly in one place. <sighs> It's an absolute waste of space. He's, he's 18. No, oh, poor little Fred. No, he's 18. He's a man. You know, I got married at 19. Mid afternoon. Oh, fucking hell, man. With essential camp chores to complete, most of the islanders have struggled back to work despite their symptoms. Watch your face, watch your face! Ah! Watch your face! But Freddie has taken to a sick bed. Every single one of these guys is going to have 
mega low moments. It's just the reality of being out in the wild. And actually, it's about positivity, positivity, positivity. When you feel those low moments, let it go and then focus on the future. It's just been a shit day today, hasn't it? The islanders have just about managed to collect enough firewood for the night. But after a bruising day, no one has the energy to hunt for food. Oh, I'm dizzy. Right, sit down, for goodness sake. What the fuck is that? It's a turkey in our camp. The turkey has been attracted by the group's fire. It's mocking us. We need this, we need this so badly. It's a golden opportunity for the islanders to replace the valuable nutrients that they've lost to illness. Oh, my God. Go now, go, go, go. Right, where is it? Nice. Shh. Coming your way, Ben. Coming your way. He's gone. Oh, fuck. You bastard. Shit! Oh! Hit my wall, man. And I'm starving. The failed turkey hunt has left the group shattered and frustrated. Here he comes. My salt. Lazy little shit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Freddie is walking around with his finger up his bottle. Fucking 24 7, right? Just walking about like that all day. It's just getting on my nerves. Fred, you get involved, mate. Get involved. Just leave him be. Why the fuck that? All we've done is push his foot around Fred. All he's done is sat about mope and do fuck all. It's just moped and moped and moped around this campsite, yeah? Not sorry, Fred. I'm really yeah. sorry, mate, but it's, tr it's the truth. Well, I'm sorry, Ben, if you feel you've been pussy feeling around me, cos I do not want that at all. I have been, you know, isolating myself slightly. Just mm. I don't want my negative mood to rub off on anyone else. I don't want to ruin their experience. Mm. I want to make it to the end. I really want to make it to the end. But, like, what's the point of me staying if I'm going to feel like this the whole time? A little bit sad, emotional. What's getting you now? What is it? I just feel so, like, grim in myself. I just keep getting, like, weaker and weaker. I know everyone's the same, but, like, health-wise, I'm just conscious of it. I just can't get it off my mind. I'm just I'm tired of this. It's hard, right? I would fucking love to leave. <laughs> and what's... I just, it's just on my mind the whole time, man. Following a difficult day, the islanders wake to the news that Freddie is questioning his future on the island. I know you want to make it to the end. You're not going to die and you're Kegs, not going to be in any kind of... Kegs, I understand that. At the end of the day, it's my decision. Honestly, you don't know how I feel. I do. I feel like you just need to honestly just man up. OK, well, you're not making me feel any better. I just wish you'd get a backbone. That's all I want him to get as a backbone. There's nothing wrong with him. Yes, he's ill, he's got the shits. We've all had the shits. Get over it. Hello, Zero, this is Freddy. Despite Kagi's best efforts, Freddy uses the emergency radio to contact my safety team. It's just hell on Earth, but I just can't handle this anymore. I would like to... to leave. I've thought about everything, and I honestly, I, I want to go, I think. Really, really, really disappointed in Freddy. Just suck it up, just suck it up. I'm used to it now, I'm used to being eaten. I'm used to being, um, having no sleep whatsoever. I'm used to sleeping on the floor, I'm used to being hungry. You just get used to it, you tolerate it. You just have to man up. Having made the call, Freddy informs the rest of the group of his decision. And honestly, I apologise to you guys for, like, letting me uh, down. I think it's a good idea you're leaving, cos you're not doing much and you eat. 
so it's one less mouth to feed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Horrible bitch. <laughs> this is the first thing I've done on my own, you know? I've just turned 18. I'm the youngest. Um, I know I shouldn't make a difference, you know? People say the youngest is the strongest. However, potentially not the strongest in mind. So long, farewell. Yeah. Are you excited, Fred? You know I'm going to be forward to You're a big boy now, mate. <laughs> That's it, you've got to turn into a man. Do you know, Fred, mate? Well, I shrunk. Piss off. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> See you later, mate. See you later. JT, okay. do the honours. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, yeah. Just as you're leaving. Oh. I know. <laughs> it's always well, oh, it. Could Imagine have been what it. you could have got if you'd stayed. I'm sorry, I would not be proud of myself if I left on week... week two, week three. I wouldn't. There's a quitter at the end of the day. And I haven't got a lot of time for quitters. That's it. Drag him on that. There you go. When somebody walks out on a group, it's easy for the remaining members to feel a little bit deserted, a bit betrayed, maybe even angry. But ultimately, trying to hold on to someone who's unhappy is just going to bring everybody down. And losing negative energy can only be a good thing. OK, back to it, then. Back to it. What's the thought of eating a turkey? Oh, my God, the thought feel? of a fucking turkey right now is orgasmic. Turkasmic. Turkasmic. With Freddy gone, the islanders decide to pull together for a joint hunting party. If you see one turkey, you've got to spread round the turkey. Yeah. Correct. So you all close in on it. Keep it quiet, just a signal, right? Yeah. They'll all watch each other all the time. They're hoping the turkey they failed to catch is still in the vicinity of camp. Who else can we make? I'll go Team Frank. One. Who else? Whoa. Two, OK, three. <laughs> Frank, I mean business here. Having been sidelined in previous hunts, Kagi is determined to make the most of the opportunity. I think I just want to make a difference to the team, put a big input in. Go get them, guys. I want to be the person that people think, oh, shit, I wasn't expecting that of her. After an exhausting search in the jungle, Fucking hell. there's no sign of the turkey. This is a complete waste of time. <sighs> I know, but I've had enough of all this now. Oh, my God. Shut the fuck up. I can see him. Just as the party are about to abandon the hunt, it's quite fine. Kagi has spotted the elusive turkey. Oh, I can see it, yeah. Oh, it's okay. Roast dinner. Right, the, uh, <laughs> don't start. Well spotted, it's Thank excellent. You. Ah, you spotted that. In the trees. The turkey will bring the group a much needed meal, as well as a massive boost to morale. I said we did, didn't we, Frank? We did, didn't we? Are you ready now? That grip all its feathers there. Give it tight. Having spotted the bird, Kagi is given the honour of dispatching it. The other hand on its neck. Whereabouts? Right like the hand there. Twist and push. Can you feel the gap? Yeah. It's, it's gone. Oh, God, that was horrible. Well done, Kegs. Well done. You probably go in the bacon. Yeah? I'm really proud of myself. It really isn't nice seeing any animal killed, but it's definitely something that I did want to do. It is such a good feeling knowing that we've provided the whole camp. I am very, very excited. Kags, <laughs> I am so proud of you. I am so, oh, so proud of you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> well done. Oh, 
We got turkey! We got turkey! Any kitty cat. <laughs> this is what it's about. They're happy. Come on, Halle Berry. The mermaid. The morels high for the first time ever integrated with each other. The young uns and the old uns and had a laugh. And we've renamed the tribe. 1866. 1866. Is that what it is? What's yeah. that? I didn't know that. I was out of that loop. Yeah. I'm just really happy. One tribe now. It's actually a, quite a good amount. Guys, come and get it. Oh. 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 Wow. Yeah. 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 I'm buzzing. Mm. Oh my god, I'm oh so god. excited. Oh it's like this is dinner. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. Delish. Mm. You've done a good job. Thanks, Richie. Everyone's just getting on, and it's so lovely to be around. It feels tasty. Tasty, tasty. Tasty, very, very tasty. It's very tasty. I don't really see them as the older group and the younger group. We're all kind of one, because everyone brings something different. <laughs> so I'm definitely glad that we've merged. Next time on the island. The sun comes out and you're the first person in a bikini laying down. You're a liar. I cannot stand you. You're a proper tosser. So I'm going to ask people to vote whether you stay or whether you go. End up.